All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to the main point of this video. I'm not sure how great the lighting is going to be for this because the morning sun is kind of glaring right into the shed here, but I'm just going to kind of do the best I can. So this is a white oak log and uh, this log and the other two that you saw over there, my uncle and I got from a house kind of right up the road from here, not too far. And he wanted me to make some floorboards for one of his trailers out of it, which I did. And that project turned out really good. He's got those all finished up and his trailer complete. But there's quite a few left over. So what I want to do is take these and I've got a special project in mind for the planks I'm going to get out of these. I'm going to try to make two by sixes, two by eights to by whatever I can get out of this really. So what we're looking at here, it's kind of an oblong log here. It's 12 and a half or so right there and 12 right there. So not too oblong on this end. It's eight and a half feet long um, and it's fairly, fairly consistent. It's about the same size on both ends. So let's just go ahead and start cutting and see what we can get. The nice thing about this white oak right here is that the slabs that I take off, I'll be able to cut them up and use them for firewood. I don't do that with the pine because pine's not the greatest for inside firewood. So it'll be nice to be able to get firewood out of this as well. So enough yakking, let's get to it. Is that a new pair of overalls? Yes, it is. I haven't worn them in a long time. In a long time. They look big. You got a pocket? I don't think this is a pocket. I think it is a pocket. You do? Yeah. This? It's a pocket. What are you going to put in there? I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is a pocket. 
pocket, but I don't know where I'm to put in there. It's a big pocket, though. Might have to zip it back up. Hey, buddy, I'm going to be on the sawmill. What are you going to do? Don't know. Don't know. The possibilities are limitless, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right guys, let's see what we got. So I ended up cutting these an inch and a half wide or an inch and a half thick rather by a full eight inches wide. And I did that because that'll allow me to get more boards out of this one cant. And it's really the project that I'm interested in using these for. I don't really need really super thick boards. So I think they ended up being like an inch and three quarter, which is a little thicker than I wanted, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, this is what we got. We got four of these and then one little board down here on the bottom. Uh, let's take this stack apart and see what they look like. So for this project I don't really need pretty boards I just need something that's real functional and rot resistant uh, but these are very nice. Let's get a closer look. Got some quarter sawn, where's my finger? There we go. Got some quarter sawn fleck right there. I know this seems kind of like a weird place to put them, but I just need a place for them to dry for a little while and then I can spray some kind of a waterproofing on it. And I don't really seem to need these pine logs because my boards are not selling all that fast. So this should be okay. Well guys, it is later in the day at this point, so our lighting situation is greatly improved, which is nice. So this is our next log here. We got four really nice planks out of that first one. This one, probably five out of this one, although I've got a history of not being so good at guessing here. This one's 14 right here. 16? Oh no, well, 14 by 14. So uh, this one's a little bit larger, about two inches larger, and seems to be a good bit straighter as well. So I think we'll get some decent lumber out of this one. So. Let's get into it.
Show me what you're doing there. Again. <laughs> why'd you why'd you put it back in there? Yeah. Why'd you put it back in there? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I want it to stay in there forever. Oh my goodness. There. How's that? Good. I've run out of room in the throat of the mill and I did it on that last cut but I forgot about it so we're gonna have to get this uh, this top slab out of here before I can go any farther that's a lot of firewood right there too which is good ah, it's a shoddy way to do that Tell me what you're doing. I tried to pull this chain, but it's too heavy. That's a really big chain. Now <laughs> all the way from over there to here. Guys, I've been promising the real star of the show for a while, and here he is. What do you want to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Uh, these boards, we got four of them. They're about 10 inches wide a piece, and if they were not destined for a, a very utilitarian purpose... <laughs> that was so funny. That was so funny. You saying that funny word? Which funny word? I don't know which one. What did it sound like? 
I don't know. Okay. Anyway, these are destined for a very utilitarian purpose. I need these for, I need these to be fairly rot resistant for an outdoor use. I'm going to put some kind of a waterproofing on it, probably just burn motor oil or something like that. And uh, they'll last a few years. And what you need, man? I got this. Huh? I can't hear what you're saying. Why talk to them? Okay, I still can't hear what you're saying. Just let's... Why talk to them. You want to talk to them? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you want to say? Hey, guys. What else do you want to say? Is that all? Oh. Okay. They probably won't last as long as something that's pressure treated, but that will give me quite a few years probably if I coat them pretty good with something or another. So hopefully I'll have some footage of, <laughs> hopefully I'll have some footage, <laughs> you're messing it up. <laughs> hopefully I'll have some footage soon of this project and we'll go from there. You ready to get some food? You hungry? I will make the sawmill go back and forth. Oh, that's right. You want to make the sawmill go back and forth. Let's do that before we go in. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.